All right, uh, this is good news. Uh, my pal uh, Blake Harris, author of Console Wars, did the forward to a certain NES guy book. They're bringing Console Wars, Ian. This is going to be cool. To TV. Yep. In a limited TV series, which is great news. Uh, it's been rumored for years that they were going to try to, you know... Do a movie. Do a movie, just like the social network. Um, there might still be a documentary being made, I think. But <clears throat> a deal's being done uh, through Legendary TV and Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg. Uh, uh, that they, they, they bought the rights to Console Wars uh a while back, back. like yeah. right, right after the book came out, right around there, that they love this stuff. Seth Rogen's obviously a, a big video game fan, uh, and Evan Goldberg. So it's happening. I think so, I think it's probably best for limited TV. Um, Ten hours, uh, you can do a lot more and a lot more, tell a lot more story, have better episode arcs. Yep, you can have standalone weird stories that you couldn't do with a two hour, two and a half hour movie at most. Exactly. You know? So this is a uh, fantastic uh, news. Um, they hired a, a big time screen director, uh, screen screenplay, excuse me, screenwriter, to uh, write the pilot. Uh, so uh, Mike Rosolio uh, to write it, and Jordan uh, Vote Roberts will direct it. So Legendary TV is a, a real, real name. Oh, yeah. Legendary does films as well. Yep. So that's a big like. This is gonna the, the pilot. I could probably say with confidence will definitely get made, and I would I wouldn't. I would probably say ninety five percent. This will be seen somewhere. This will be picked up somewhere. Oh, I, yeah. I don't. I there's too many big names attached, even production before they get into who's going to star in it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, given the fact that video games are big, um, the names attached to it, and the fact that, I mean, maybe not Netflix, but almost anything can land on Netflix these days uh, or Hulu. I would say this probably even goes above that and gets picked up by a you know network. some sort of network if there's enough. The cachet sure. with this, yeah, or HBO or Showtime. Yep, uh, Showtime would actually. Did, which one did Silicon Valley uh, show? Which one did that? One of those two did it, right? So why wouldn't they pick this up as well? If it's uh, in the same sort of vein, same sort of stuff, Silicon Valley show. I think it's still on, isn't it? I've never seen it, but I heard good things. Uh, um, HBO. Yeah, okay. I, I, I get pictures being like an HBO Showtime sort of thing potentially. Yeah. I'm just saying I'm not a big expert on TV, but if they get a few, uh, neither am I. Look at us playing TV experts, just. Making but, the bets by naming everything. Uh, it's gonna end see. up on one of these, all of them. But when you look at <laughs> look at the people involved. They've done a lot of stuff. Uh, stuff for FX, stuff uh, for Netflix. Who is, the, who is um the Jordan Voigt Roberts? That's that's a familiar name. Why? Uh, we'll look it up. Uh, Roging Goldberg and Weaver's Point Red Pictures. Oh, they did the Preacher AMC show, which is pretty good. I've seen a few episodes of who that. Who did? Uh, this this production company, Seth Rogen, and Evan Goldberg. They they did Preacher. I had no idea. Uh, that they did that. Um, some Rogan stuff. and Robert Rogan did. Yep, that's what this says. So. What, what a strange, what a strange. Huh. What was that strange? If they, I, if they like it, if they're a fan of it, why not? Oh sure, I just never really thought of. Uh, Voight Roberts did. What did he do? Kong Skull Island. Oh. Kings of Summer, Nick Offerman, and then television is Funny or Die presents Death Valley. You're the worst and cocked. So actually, not much that I know of, but but he's he's established, obviously. Yeah, and that Kong Skull Island was supposed to be kind of fun, but I never saw that it. already came out. See, I didn't, that came yeah, out that came out right? in 2017. Oh wow, I missed it. So so you can delve into a lot of like I said stories. If this follows the progression of you know uh, Kalinsky, Tom Kalinsky comes to, to to Sega, they start building it up. To compete with Nintendo, you can go through the development you know, of Sonic and the Genesis launch, and the console. Obviously, the console wars, the Space Wars. You, then you can get to the you know the, the la later period, the fall from grace, when you get to like the 32x and things like that. And right. There's a lot you can do here, and the cool thing about this being that it's limited, is that maybe next year uh, they come back, they can do another video game story like in one season like you just do season sets of stories right so they, could, cool they could pick some it doesn't have to be a war they could do they could do nintendo's fall it, or uh, you know one of nintendo's like less spectacular periods you can do you can do nintendo versus uh sony with the, with the original playstation sure right? and that that does that like, there's a lot of stuff you could do right I, obviously you need some drama the and conflict the, well yeah you could do the loss of square basically you could you could do almost an entire show uh on the focus of the loss of square final fantasy 7 coming out on, you get 10 hours uh, out of that 
Could you? You can get ten, you can get ten hours out of Sony in in, in Nintendo sixty four, but you could do a pretty. I think you could do a very um, do a very good arc I, just on the Final Fantasy stuff. Now, obviously, when you're doing a dramatic series, you have to. There's going to be obviously embellishment of characters and conflict. Oh yeah, that's the one thing I guess that you can't avoid it it's going to be entertaining It'd be funny if, if people that were involved there see they're going to be watching just like what like that didn't happen or that didn't happen like that or it didn't happen with the sonic development it's going to be it's going to be funny to see that but you can't avoid it you know you just can't the fact that this is getting made though is just i'm mean, obviously i'm really happy for blake since i know the guy but this there has been something done like this before no. a whole huge tv series based upon video game history it's very exciting it's so. gonna it's i i'm looking for yay it. blake Good guy, Blake. Good for you, buddy.